Here are some tips and tricks to use in Windows 10. Use the clickable sections to skip through to different features. Arrow Shake is a handy feature to minimize multiple windows at once. To use Arrow Shake, left click and hold on the window bar of an open program. While still holding, move the window to the left and right rapidly. All other windows will immediately minimize. If you want to bring them back, repeat the shaking movement. To enable dark mode, navigate to the start menu and select settings. Then select personalization. On the left, select the colors menu. Here we can swap between light, dark, and custom settings modes. You can also customize the accent colors of windows and when those colors appear on title bars. To factory reset Windows 10, navigate to the start menu and select settings. Scroll down and select Windows Update. On the left side, click Recovery. On the top of this page, we'll see the option Reset this PC. Click Get Started. You'll have the option to either reset Windows and keep your personal files, or to reset and wipe the operating system completely. Make sure to back up all of your data to an external drive or to a cloud solution if selecting option 2. For this video, we'll do option 1 and keep our files. On the next page, Windows will confirm the reset action it will take. Click reset when ready and the process will take over. After restarting and working in the background for a while, Windows 10 will finish reinstalling and bring you to your desktop. Scrolling to a documents folder will confirm your files have been saved, as we chose to keep those. To turn off background apps, navigate to the start menu and select settings. Select privacy, then scroll in that menu to find background apps. On the top of this menu, you can turn off all background apps automatically, or you can scroll through the list of installed applications to manually turn off specific items. You can use dictation on any text input program in Windows. With your text area active, use the shortcut Windows and H on your keyboard to start the speech to text ability. Speak into your computer's microphone and dictation will convert it to text. To update Windows 10 to the latest version, head to your browser and search for Windows 10 Download. Click the result from Microsoft.com to view the download options. A notification to update to the latest OS release should appear at the top with the prompt Update Now. Click that to download the update installer. When you open the installer, it will say which version you have installed and confirm if you can update to a newer release. In this case, we have version 1909 installed, while the newer release is 20H2. Click Update Now to begin the process. The installer will confirm if your PC can handle the new update, and once you click Next, the update will start to download. Once the download has finished, the PC will start a 30 minute countdown to restarting to finish the update. You can click Restart Now to begin it immediately. Your PC will now restart itself and take over as it installs the new OS version. It'll provide an install status and launch to the desktop once complete. God Mode is a hidden Windows feature that compiles an array of functions into one menu. To enable God Mode, navigate to your desktop and right click to create a new folder. We'll need to rename the folder with a specific chain of text characters. You can find this chain in the description and on screen. Once entered, the icon will change to the control panel icon and the name will disappear. Double clicking this brings us to the God Mode menu, where we have a massive array of PC controls and customization abilities. The search bar on top lets us quickly find prompts that would usually be buried in submenus in the normal settings program. 
Windows 10 expands on the window snapping features of prior OS versions. To start split screening, click and hold on the title bar of the window to snap. Drag it to the left or right edge until your mouse cursor disappears. When the window stops moving and flashes an outline of the window, you can release the cursor. The window is now pinned to this half of the screen. On the left, a collection of other active windows will appear. Click on any of your active windows to snap them into that half of the screen. The simplest way to take a screenshot of windows is called Snip and Sketch. Hold down Windows, Shift, and the S key. This will dim the screen and a menu bar will appear on top. Use the menu on top to do a freeform, window, or full screen capture.